Hey guys, welcome back to Wildly Wandering and welcome to our tour of Discovery Cove. For those of you who don't know, Discovery Cove is an awesome, all-inclusive park near International Drive. Owned by SeaWorld, Discovery Cove is available for a one-day park ticket or can be included in other tickets that you may purchase. Currently, you can buy this with a dolphin swim or without a dolphin swim, and at the time of recording, Discovery Cove tickets start from $174 a person. So we've walked through the lobby where you have your bag checked, now we're walking into the main area of Discovery Cove. It then kind of branches off to the left and to the right where you can go around the main dolphin swim area and the lazy rivers. They've tried to theme the park really nicely and as you wander around you get different bird sounds, tigers and other animals playing out of hidden speakers which is a really nice kind of theme. You kind of feel like you're sort of in a, a safari. The theming here is significantly better than that of Deep Palm Island in Aruba which we've done a tour of as well and there's a link that you can click to go and see more information on that. So we're now going to start walking into the central area of Discovery Cove. On the right you'll see that there's some really nice little foot washes and these are in a lot of places to keep your feet cool, although we'd absolutely suggest that you consider purchasing water shoes so that you can actually keep your shoes on for the whole day and wear them whilst you're in the water as well. On the left you've got here a gift shop. This is where you can also pick up prescription swim goggles as well which are fantastic and as I wear glasses I really found those useful. You'll now see guest services on the left and that's where you pick up your host for your cabana. These aren't available the minute you get in but they'll quickly have one ready for you. We had a sand dollar cabana which is on the top left corner of the map there and you can see we're at the kind of birds and guest services area over on the right hand side. We're now looking at the cafe, so Discovery Cove opens quite early and I'd suggest that you get there as early as you can. Because it's all inclusive, you get all your breakfast, lunch and other snacks throughout the day that you might want. So get there as early as you can and make the full use of that day. There's plenty of seating out here as well, although at your typical lunch times it obviously does get slightly busier. Talking of all inclusive, your food and drinks are included, basic beer and wine, however there are no spirits. If you want to purchase a cocktail package and you can do so, and that will obviously enable you to get cocktails throughout the day as well. Typically, the majority of Discovery Cove is cashless and cash free. You can see here the buffet, so you just kind of help yourself to your breakfast, lots of fruit, yogurts etc and then this is where you will also get lunchtime snacks as well such as burgers, chicken nuggets, that sort of thing. Walking up to the Sand Dollar Cabana, so this is classed as an elite cabana and at the time of recording this video this is around $599 for the day. So you get this private area to walk into, as you can see we have two cabanas in this area accessible through that main entrance. You've got two chairs with a chest, you can see there the prescription goggles that they gave me in the chest which they encourage you to keep locked due to birds, you've got some crisps or chips, um, peanuts and various other things, as well as your animal safe sunscreen, so you're not allowed to wear your own sunscreen, you must wear theirs that they feel is safe for the animals that they've got. You have your fridge which is stocked with your choice of soft drinks and beer and wine, some spare towels and a lockable cabinet which is great for taking a camera and leaving it there where you go on your dolphin swim etc. There's another couple of chairs, a ceiling fan and a light. While the ceiling fan doesn't do much it does feel nice to kind of have that breeze on you with the Florida air being quite thick and sticky. 
walking out we're over the main reef swimming area. Again at this time this wasn't open for us to start going into at the time that we arrived but did quickly open up for guests to use once we'd settled into the cabana. You can also see there on the right hand side of the screen the standard sunbeds that just anyone can go and use. As I said the prices start from $179 so that's your access to Discovery Cove without the dolphin swim. Adding the dolphin swim at the time of recording adds an extra $50. Every time we came back there was a lovely piece of towel art on the table that our host had done for us. It's worth remembering to bring some cash to tip your host with. There are various other experiences that you can purchase for the day, such as the Flamingo Mingle. It's quite a bizarre experience walking out from your cabana and finding a parade of, peng of flamingos walking past. Here we are now in the Grand Reef, which is just outside the cabana that we were in. Now for those of you who aren't fantastic swimmers or not particularly confident, Discovery Cove provide not only kind of three quarter size wetsuits that you can wear, but also some buoyancy aids or some life jackets that you can wear to swim either with the dolphins or within the Grand Reef. As you can see, the water here was absolutely crystal clear really was a very pleasant experience to be swimming around in here with the stingrays and other fishes that they've got. So while we're looking at the Grand Reef, just another tip about Discovery Cove is absolutely make sure that you book some kind of transport to get you to and from Discovery Cove. With it being an all-inclusive day, you do want to make sure that you can make the most of that, be that getting there by an Uber or a basic taxi. From where we were staying, an Uber each way was roughly $30, which I didn't think was too bad. Within the Grand Reef as well, you can actually pay extra and get yourself a sea venture experience which is where you would wear a scuba type helmet and that's a full tour of the Grand Reef given by one of Discovery Cove's member of staff. There's also the ability to pay for an upgrade to swim with sharks, something I'm not quite brave enough to do. While we were on the Grand Reef our host went and filled up the fridge with plenty of Budweiser for us. They also had Miller Lite and various other brands of alcohol that you could choose from. As I said earlier, we paid for an Elite Cabana, which also came with a dolphin swim experience where they came and delivered a boy to you. This boy is personalised, hence why ours said, she said yes. There is a limited number of characters that you can put on that boy, so think of a pretty cool message. So we've gone for a bit of a walk now back towards the main entrance area of Discovery Cove, so that kind of main area that I showed you earlier with the restaurant. There's lots of little drink stations on the way and you can see a plenty of sunbeds outside the Grand Reef there that you can feel free just to hop on and make yourself feel comfortable. And now we're walking back towards the dolphin swim area. So this is where there's three pools and you'll be given, if you've paid for the dolphin swim, you'll be given your time to go and make that experience happen. Apologies for the smudge on the screen of water from my GoPro. You can also buy photos from that dolphin swim experience, which I highly recommend. Or again, at the time of recording, if you purchase the Elite Cabana, you also get a photo package with that as well which comes with a couple of photo frames and digital and CD copies of your dolphin swim experience. You can also see behind the sunbeds here a cheaper upgrade that you can purchase which is day beds. Again it's just nice to have that useful base that you can go back to. And on the left hand side just here is where you're going to go to get your dolphin swim information. So that's where you'll go about 15 minutes before your allotted swim and they're going to give you all the information about what you can and can't take into the water with you. 
In hindsight, would absolutely recommend making sure that you wear sunglasses so in the pictures you're not squinting. Here's another one of those drink stations, so just feel free to go there, grab yourself coke, water, beer, wine, or if you've got the cocktail package, that's where you'll go and get yourself some cocktails. There's also lockers here as well, which if you don't have a locker like we did in the cabana, you can use to store your stuff for the day. So just coming up on the right here, you've got another gift shop. You're going to be able to buy towels, water shoes, etc. from here, sunglasses, but also they do sell what we would term rash vests or swim t-shirts. Really would recommend these, especially with the heat of the Florida sun. It's going to really stop you from getting sunburned as well. And walking back through here now from the Sand Dollar Cabana to the main entrance, you've got on the left hand side the cafe that we saw earlier. Discovery Cove has other areas that you can go to aside from obviously the Grand Reef and the Dolphin Swim area. There's a lazy river and there's also some other animals that you can go and explore and an area where wildlife is kind of around you, birds etc. So where we're walking to now is one of those lazy rivers where we can jump in and go and amble around and see some otters and also some marmosets as well. The water temperature here is, as you'd expect in Florida, absolutely fantastic as well. Slightly heated, I believe, to keep it at a constant temperature all year round. Here we've got some otters behind the glass just playing around. Apart from obviously the leaves and the water, one thing I'd say is Discovery Cove was impeccably clean. It really was a pleasant experience to be in this water all day. And that is where you spend most of your day. While the cabanas are great, you're not there for much. It's really just used as a base for you to keep your stuff, and go back to to relax for a bit between different swims. There's also flotation aids that you can get if you want as well, just to make that experience of floating around the river a little bit more comfortable. When you're walking between one of the different swimming areas, you can also go into this kind of bird cage area where you can pick up some bird food and as you can see there's plenty of wildlife in here that you can feed. So to wrap up my experience of Discovery Cove, 
absolutely fantastic day would highly recommend to anyone going yes like all these things and like everything in Orlando it comes at a cost but if you've got the opportunity to go absolutely go for it the dolphin swim was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had and let's not forget the other things that you can upgrade to on the day as well such as obviously the cabanas the day beds there's an animal trek the ability to swim with sharks the flamingo mingle ray feeding your premium drinks package and the option to have a trainer for a day as well so before you go make sure you've looked at the opportunities to upgrade because I think the chances are you won't have an ability to do that on the day. The day that we were there which was the middle of September in 2022 all of the cabanas were fully booked although there did appear to be some day beds we didn't ask about their availability on the day. So thanks very much for watching guys I hope you found this useful I hope you got some tips for how you can best spend your day at Discovery Cove. We're going to be doing some more videos from our trip to Orlando, so subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you get notified when we put our next video up. And obviously please like the video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments.